welcome to the July the 13th taping of It Happened in Grand Prairie. Grand Prairie, Texas, that is, and we're so excited on this history tape number 46 that we would bring to you some, at one time, longtime residents of Grand Prairie that have since, a few years ago, moved away from Grand Prairie, but bring back to us today wonderful memories of Grand Prairie, and they will also tell us the things that are happening in their new locale. And it's our pleasure today to have longtime friends and community cohorts that have worked with us many long years in Grand Prairie. Penny Penwell, welcome back to Grand Prairie, Texas today. Thank you, Ruthie. Wonderful. And Mr. W.R. Randall Penwell, we're so delighted to have you on the show today also, young man. Thank you. Wonderful. All right. If we told our audience the many, many wonderful things that you all have done for Grand Prairie, they probably would want uh, a lot of documents uh, to prove all this because it's almost unbelievable some of the things you've done. But we want to bring you to Grand Prairie uh, back in the days of the past and, and let you share your views with our audience, something about your genealogy, because we're working on a history of Grand Prairie, just as you all have done a history at Maybank, Texas, where you live down on Cedar Creek now. So Penny, would you start out by giving us your genealogy? Tell us your mother and father's name, including your mother's maiden name, um, how many brothers and sisters you have, and if you'd like to name drop those, we'd like for you to do that to get that in our history record. And would you look out into your camera and do that, please, Miss Penny? Thank you, Ruthie. I am the first child of R.B. and Mary Eva Teal. And what was her maiden name? Uh, Mary Evie Whitten Teal. Thank you. And I would like to tell you uh, something I think is real cute about uh, their marriage license. Uh, R.B. Teal from the Teal community married Mary Eva Teal uh, Whitten uh, Teal from the Whitten community. And uh, their parents' father were uh, cotton farmers and uh, uh, very close friends. And the family, of course, still remains to be close friends. Would you give we, us the county from which they came? Because a lot of people don't know about Whitting and Teal communities. What county is that located in, Penny? The Teal community and the Whitting community is located in Van Zandt County. Wonderful. Uh, the county seat of Canton, Texas. I have four, uh, there's four of us children. I'm the older. Uh, my older brother is Leo Teal that resides here in Grand Prairie. My younger brother is Ben Teal that lives in Irvine, and Arnell Groom that lives in Maybank. All right, now Penny, we know that you have another name other than Penny Penwell. Give us your regular bona fide baptismal name for our record, would you please? Ruthie, I would love to do that because uh, an awful lot of people don't know that my true name is Evana Eveline Teal Penwell. Let me tell you how I got tell Penny. Tell us about Penny. Randall <coughs> and I married in 1942, January. Soon after that, Randall was uh, in the Navy and was shipped out to sea. I took his place at the North American uh, plant. I don't know the proper name right now. North American Aviation. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went in for employment, the uh, personnel lady took me down to my department and uh, my boss, he, she introduced me to him and he said, I'll be back shortly. He came back in a very few minute moments and said, we will not refer to you as Eveline again. Said, we will refer to you as Penny Penwell. So that's and how that's you how I came mm -hmm. about. Of course, I didn't care what he called me because I was young, I needed the job, and that was all that mattered. Wonderful. So that's how we came in with Penny. All right, now, Penny, we're going to leave you temporarily. You, we've gotten you <coughs> with your parents and brothers and sisters. We haven't gotten you to Grand Prairie yet, but let's begin with the genealogy of Mr. W.R. Randall Penwell, who is Warren 
Randall Penwell. And tell us your parents' name, please, would you, Randall? Well, my parents, uh, my father was, uh, came from Ohio. They lived in Ohio. His name was uh, Clark Moses, my father. My grandfather was Moses alone. And um, they were both uh, descendants of the state of Ohio. My father in World War I was stationed in Dallas at Love Field. At that time he met my mother and they married immediately after the war was over and moved to the state of Colorado. And then what was her name? We need her maiden name in full, please. My mother's name was Sarah Lucille Jones Penwell. All right. Her folks came from Mississippi into this area, and uh, most of them settled around Ennis, Texas, or uh, parts of Ellis County. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was born in, uh, in Colorado, which my my dad and mother moved to Colorado from Dallas and in 1920 in Holyoke, Colorado. I lived there until I was eight years old. And we moved back to Texas around Kaufman in Kaufman County. Later we moved to Maybank in 1928. I lived around Maybank 1928 through the Depression to 1940. I left Maybank at that time shortly after I went in service. When I came out... Before that, when you went into the service, uh, what branch of the service were you in, Mr. I went in, I was in the Navy. You were in the Navy. And I was immediately shipped to the Hawaiian Islands, which I spent three years there. All right. Coming back, I got out in 1946 and worked at several jobs and went to work then for Texas Instruments in Dallas. What year? In 1953. All right. I worked for them 30 years and retired. And a year later, we moved back to Maybank, which is now the Cedar Creek Lake area. Mm -hmm. And really when you retired in 1973, you didn't really retire, did you? Well, <laughs> no. I don't, right. I don't think you ever retire. Well, wonderful. We're going to get back to your life down around Cedar Creek in a little bit, but let's get back now to Mrs. Penwell. Penny, would you like to tell us how you and Randall met? Would you do that for us and tell us about you're getting married and about your wonderful children and we'd like you to even name drop your grandchildren and tell us where they all live. Would you do that and look out into your camera? Uh, Ruthie, Randall and I have known each other uh, for many years prior to our marriage because he went to school in Maybank High School and I attended Canton High School and graduated uh -huh. from there. And then uh, his parents came to Dallas, was living in Dallas, and I visited a cousin of mine. Then I met Randall. I believe he took me to a movie. All right. And from there, it was got serious. So uh -huh. we married in 1942. In 1942, where? In, uh, in Dallas. In Dallas. I thought maybe you might have gone back to Maybank. Everything no. seems to be going back to Maybank. No. All right. And then we have uh, two uh, sons, All right. Randy Clark Penwell, uh, his little wife Mary, his Josh and Lonnie, their two sons, uh, live in Longview. Longview, he, Texas. Longview, Texas. Uh, Randy and Mary uh, are owners of the uh, Superior Ice Company. Mm -hmm. And fortunately for them, they're doing very well. We just returned from Longview yesterday watching our two grandsons play in the All-Star Game. Wonderful. Is that baseball? That's baseball. That is baseball. Our younger son and his wife, Pat, with their Misty, Melissa, and Rick live in Irving. Mm -hmm. And Donnie is the owner of Michael Crane Service in Fort Worth. That's wonderful. And tell us about their children. Well, of course, it would take me a long time to tell you about my oh, grandchildren. All right, tell about all of them, would you? Well, they're doing very well. Our Melissa uh, attends school in Grand Prairie. All right. Uh, 
Our Misty Where is in, in Grand Prairie, Texas. Grand Prairie High School. All right. Uh, our Misty is in special, special uh, education class for the handicap uh, due to uh, injury at birth. Mm -hmm. And she's progressing very nicely. And we're very, very thankful for that. Oh, wonderful. I wish that I had brought pictures. All right. And our Rick graduate, uh, graduated this year. That is wonderful. That is just super. Now, Penny, you have a wonderful family. You have part of them living in Longview, part in the uh, Grand Prairie area. And since then, you all have moved away from Grand Prairie, Texas. But while you were here, you were a STEM winder, is what we call them, a Texas term, terminology for someone that is a can-do person that can get things done. How did you really get started in your community service? What was the first thing that motivated you, the PTA or a block mother or room mother or whatever? Look out into your camera and tell us about that. Ruthie, what really started the whole uh, works moving was our Sunday school class. Mm -hmm. And incidentally, uh, you served uh, as our both of our sons Sunday school teacher for many many years and we're thankful for that because you gave them good background and they have followed through it we're very delighted that you had a part in their life but that's where it started uh, volunteering uh, at Sunday school for a backup uh, whatever that was we there was where there was a need then we started with the PTA. The parent-teacher movement has done many, many things for uh, our family and for me individually. It has meant an awful lot to me. And from there, we went into the uh, clubs and organizations, uh, wherever there was a need, uh, and if I had the time. And I am so thankful that Randall was willing for me to serve to go when there was a need to do all of these things because he is involved in different clubs and organizations. As president of the Houston Elementary PTA and on into the uh, Chick organization as their president for several years and several times and as the, I believe, the City Hall Plaza at that time right. chairman for many years, hustling money for the trees and the landscaping there. Um, that's just a few of the things in the historical organization. Uh, I know that we could name so many things that you're involved in or were involved in, and you, I believe you're still a member of the Grand Prairie Garden Club, right? Right. The past president? Right, right. And uh, the, uh, I was named Woman of the Year for the Grand Prairie Garden Club, and that I'm very thankful for. That's an exciting thing yes. that happened to us. Yes, yes, yes. But in Grand Prairie doing all of these things, in the interim you moved for just a few years over to the north, to a little city with a big eye, that's Irving. Um, how long were you in Irving? We stayed in Irving seven years, mm -hmm. and I was also involved in the parent-teacher movement and other clubs and organizations, Seroptimists mm -hmm. and so forth in Irving. All right, and we neglected to mention the post-PTA as one of the presidents of that for many long years. Ms. Penwell, you have done an outstanding community service in president of almost any club that we can name here in Grand Prairie, Texas. But let's get back to Randall. Randall, while she was doing all of these good things and you were working at TI, I know that you are a superior marksman. Um, what groups did you belong to uh, in your field, uh, in your expert field of targeting and uh, skeet shooting and whatever? Tell us some of the honors you've won, would you? Well, I belong to the NRA, the TTA, which is Trap Shooting Organization, and the NSSA, which is the National Skeet Shooter Association. Mm -hmm. I belong to several other clubs. I'm the only original member left of the Arlington Club, which started out from mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. And uh, f from that, they have given me a life membership into that club, which right. happened some 15 years ago. All right. And I have worked with several clubs in this area. I've worked with the Boy Scouts. I have uh, put on several safety demonstrations for scouts and other organizations on uh, the handling of firearms, mm -hmm. which I don't think you, you can go too far on that subject because it is something that everybody should know. Yes. 
And then I, <clears throat> I got into competition shooting. First I was rifle and pistol. And I had trouble with one of my arms on a, by the sling binding too tight and I had to quit that and I went into skeet and trout. Mm -hmm. Which I am still doing that and I have shot skeet for some 30 years now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have won, I guess, uh, most ever honor that uh, they have in the state of Texas, including I was, in 1984, I was inducted into the Texas State Hall of Fame for skate shooting. Mm -hmm. and I have won the Texas State uh, Skate Shooting uh, Tournament two, maybe three times. And also, uh, the, my two sons, Randy and Donnie, they have both won honors. They're shooters. At that time, uh, Donnie kind of drifted to the rifle and pistol end, but Randy still shoots skeet. Me and him shoot together now. That's wonderful, isn't it? We shoot on the same team. Good. And uh, I, I hate to say this, but he's beating me now. Well, after all, but, he has had uh, a wonderful instructor, hasn't he? I have. I have won uh, many titles, and I have often said, if I never win another one in my life, I have won my share of them. Wonderful, and you've always had a wall full of trophies and medals and all of these good things, and those were featured in the Grand Prairie Daily News one year, and it absolutely covered a whole wall. Well, when you have to start storing them in barrels, well, they don't mean too much to you then. Yes. All right, now, Mr. Penwell, you're also an artist craftsman and I can remember many things that you've done but particularly the special branding irons that you made for the Chamber of Commerce because I just happen to have one of the large branding irons plus I have the little necklace branding iron that you made for the branding irons for the Chamber. How did you get involved in that? Well my <coughs> wife got me into that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I listened to her for several days, calling, call after call, to company after company, trying to get somebody to build the little branding irons for her. And uh, I looked at one one day and I said, I believe I can make one of those. So I went out in the shop and made one and, and she was kind of thrilled over it and that was the starting of it and so I made Oh, I don't know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 for them for the Chamber mm -hmm. of Commerce. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that you also have made some sculpting of uh, Western things, such as the nail, uh, the old nail head sculpture that I have. Tell us about that. Well, they're made out of horseshoe nails. Mm -hmm. I made several different pieces, and I think you probably have one. At that time, everybody in Chamber of Commerce uh, had one. And I done uh, some brass sculpturing, which is uh, the cutting of brass with a torch. But I have kind of got away from that now because I don't know, I'm a kind of fellow that once I get into something and and see that I can do it, then I go to something else. All right. <laughs> now, Randall, we're going to come back to you in just a few minutes, so get your pictures out of the things that you've been doing down at Cedar Creek and Maybank and show us just one photograph at least of that 75 pound Opelousas catfish that you caught. But let's go back to Penny a minute. Penny, in all of this time that you were doing all of these community services, when you left North American Aviation, did you ever do any work outside the home or were you a complete housewife and never worked out of the home? Ruthie, I have worked uh, extensively However, when I left North American, uh, we had the two youngsters at that time. Randa was involved with uh, Texas Instruments, and I put in the Eveline's Drapery interiors, designs here in Grand Prairie, and did that work until we retired and moved. All right, and in the meantime, did you ever work uh, in the community. How were you involved in the chamber? Why did, was he doing all of these things for the branding iron? Did you ever work for the chamber or through the chamber or whatever? Tell us about that activity. Okay. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce in 1980 needed an executive director 
and they asked me if I would come in as uh, an interim executive. I talked it over with Randall, explained to him how much time it would be involved. Both of the boys were away at that time. I had already married. He backed me 100%, and I went to the Chamber of Commerce in Grand Prairie as the executive director. After the executive uh, was hired, then they asked me if I would stay on as the uh, membership director, and I did that for two years and enjoyed every minute of it. And it was fun being involved in the chamber and meeting was, lots of people. It wasn't was it? a lot of fun, and uh, we both have become involved at that time. We became involved, and we have uh, benefited from that, the contacts that we had made during that tenure of office. All right, now, um, if we have time to go back to it, I want you to come back and tell us the outstanding activity, the one you enjoyed the most, the one that gave you the most, most fulfillment of everything you were involved in in Grand Prairie. But let's get down to Maybank now. You all have moved to Cedar Creek, to Maybank. You built your own cabin and your own boat dock and all of this good stuff. Uh, Randall, would you like to show us the, one of those wonderful catfish, or maybe two, and just hold it up where our camera can get a shot of that? that and this one weighs how much, Randall? This one weighs 85 pounds. Mm -hmm. are, the, are these fish biting right at this time? Not at this time. They're spawning right now. All right. And uh, what time of the year would we need to come down to have uh, lunch with you and Penny if we wanted to go fishing for something well, like that? Well, if you want to catch this kind, you've got to come early in the spring. Early in the spring. And what other kind of fish do you get down around that area? Well, there's bass and crappie, sand mm -hmm. bass. Mm -hmm. Channel cat and also this Opelousa cat, which is uh, referred to as a flathead, too. All right. Now, while you're down in Maybank, are you involved in any of the activities of the community? Uh, we're going to get to Penny and her involvement, but what does she have you doing? Well, she has me doing part of her of her uh, Cape Texas beautiful list. Uh, I see. Don't mess with Texas. I see. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's got me on the on the roadside picking up trash and hauling trash and mowing grass and such as that. I see, and trying to keep your place and all the county clean. That's right. All right, now Penny, what county are you all located in there in Maybank? We are in the Henderson County uh, of District 10. All right, and he mentioned uh, Keep Texas Beautiful. Are you involved with them and in what way? At this particular time, I serve as the Keep Texas Beautiful District 10 District Governor which uh, includes eight counties. And you're over these eight counties doing all of this good stuff. Mm -hmm. In each county, we have a county chairman mm -hmm. for each county. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them have um, an assistant or a vice chairman for the county chairman. And you stem wind all of them, right? Right. Well, mm -hmm. I noticed that we had an annual meeting recently in Dallas about eight days ago, and I was very pleased uh, to learn that you were the outstanding district governor in the state. And I thought this was a salute to Penny Penwell that once lived in Grand Prairie, Texas, that I knew and that I could touch her and say, yes, I knew Penny, and that all of this, these good things. And then I believe you were awarded the outstanding, one of the outstanding awards of the state, and would you tell us the name of that particular one? I'd be happy to. That is the O.P. Schnabel Award for Senior Citizens. I was overwhelmed when I received the Chamber, Grand Prairie Chamber of Commerce Citizen of the Year. And then when these two awards came my way, these two honors, the District Governor for 1987, I couldn't believe it but I accept it graciously. And then when the O.P. Snable Award came to me just recently, I was very, very delighted. In fact, Ruthie, I do believe that this is the first and only time that these two top awards have ever been given to an individual. In concert, that cer certainly is true. And Penny, uh, the wonderful thing about this is your Grand Prairie Garden Club in conjunction with the Maybank uh, beautification team, nominated you 
uh, as a co-sponsor uh, for this, and I think that's a salute that you left such a good record in Grand Prairie, Texas, that the Grand Prairie Garden Club and its members would endorse you. And many, we had a petition from the Grand Prairie Garden Club that went all over the city, and we had many important names that endorsed that and sent it in to the state. And we were pleased to have a part in that for you. Thank you, Ruthie. And the fact that I was able to receive a copy of the nomination now remember, this is over the entire state of Texas. Yes, that's wonderful. For yes. a senior citizen. Yes, for the, a senior the citizen. The outstanding senior citizen. But the nomination itself was beautiful from the Grand Prairie Garden Club, and thanks to you for all your work. But the fact of those endorsements that came my way were absolutely beautiful, and I shall always treasure those. Uh, mementos that I received from this. All right, Penny, we have about two more minutes left, and we wanted to get down to the most exciting thing that happened to you in Grand Prairie in your work, and what are you doing now in your local community? If you'd tie those things in and look out into your camera and tell us that. At the present time, uh, we're involved with Keep Texas Beautiful, as we had mentioned prior, uh, previously. But uh, we have just completed and just received this beautiful, beautiful history book for the Maybank area. I was fortunate enough to be on the sesquicentennial committee, and we worked diligently with the historical uh, committee and the uh, history book uh, committee. This includes 496 family. Uh, this is a large book. It was very, very uh, time-consuming, but it has turned out to be such a beautiful book, businesses, and so forth and so on. But really and truly, my time is devoted entirely to Keep Texas Beautiful. Eight counties in East Texas keeps you on your toes. And I am so thankful to Randall because he does go with me. He does the driving over the different counties when we go to visit with the county uh, chairman and their committees. One half second to tell us your favorite activity in Grand Prairie, Texas while you were with us here. That would be hard to do, Ruthie, but I think that my involvement with the Church of Christ, uh, Tarrant, now known as Turnpike, my most exciting time was when the uh, elders asked me to serve as the junior high girls Sunday school teacher. Wonderful. Penny Penwell, Eveline Teal Penwell, and Mr. Warren Randall Penwell. It's been just a delight to have you all on the show. It's wonderful to have you all to come back and be with us today from Maybank. Well, and, thank you very much. And any further testimony before we leave this place? We love you very much, and we appreciate what all you do, Ruthie. Thank you. We appreciate you. And this sure is do. Ruthie Jackson reminding you that history is as we live and do.